everyone, and welcome to a new Berta sewing tutorial. Today, we will be sewing the denim jacket 113 from the February 2024 issue of Berta Style. For this, we're using the Yuki HZL DX7 sewing machine, which is ideal for working with denim fabrics. To achieve the denim look, we top stitched all the seams with Mettler denim dock thread in a classic ochre color. To make this jacket, You'll need, in addition to your regular sewing supplies, denim fabric, six buttons, matching sewing thread, sewing machine needles, contrasting thread for top stitching, and interfacing. We've already cut out all the pieces according to the instructions. The collar, hem, closure flap, cuffs, and pocket flaps are already reinforced with fusible interfacing, and we've transferred all the necessary notches onto the pieces. To sew this denim fabric, we are using a Schmetz 90 gauge denim needle. Thanks to its ball point and a special tip design, the needle penetrates the fabric easily and prevents missing stitches from occurring. Let's start sewing the pockets. First, place a reinforced placket over an unreinforced placket right sides together. Stitch along the side and bottom edges, securing the beginning and end of the seam with back stitches. Trim the seam allowances and cut the corners diagonally. Turn the pocket right side out and press, then top stitch tightly with contrasting thread. Repeat the process for the second pocket. Neaten the upper edges of the middle front pieces and the lower edges of the pockets. Press the top edge of the front piece inward and tightly stitch it from the outside. Then place the middle front piece right sides together, making sure the joining lines match up with the pocket. Stitch along the side edges of the pocket and the marked lines on the front piece. The bottom edge of the pocket should be stitched tightly. Pin and sew all the front and back separating seams. We are using Mettler denim dock thread for all the seams and top stitching. The polyester structure of this thread makes it particularly resistant while ensuring optimal elasticity. Plus, the cotton sheath gives the thread a textile look and it helps expel heat from the needle during sewing. The special makeup of this thread makes it ideal for durable denim seams. Now, neaten all the seam allowances, then press them into the front or back middle piece. Then top stitch the separating seams. We are using the Schmetz twin denim needle to create perfectly parallel double seams. It guarantees professional double seams in one go. With a thickness of 100, it's perfect for denim and top stitching through multiple layers of fabric. For the double needle, use two spools of thread as the upper threads. The lower thread forms zigzag stitches on the back. And don't forget to test the thread tension on a scrap piece of fabric beforehand. Now you can top stitch all the double stitched seams with contrasting thread. Next, place the flaps between the crossing lines on the lower edge of the front collar and pin them in place. Now you can pin, sew the attaching seams, neaten them, press them upward, and top stitch with the double denim needle. Lower the flap and sew the sides of the flap about 5 mm below the seam, approximately 1 cm on the front. Let's move on to the closure facings. Place the facings right sides on the front edges and pin them in place. Press the seam allowances and the allowances of the long facing into the facing. Fold the facing right sides together along the fold line and stitch along the upper edge from the fold to the center front. Trim the seam allowances, turn it right side out and press the facings. Thread the contrasting thread again and sew the seams and front edges of the facings tightly. Also, sew the inner edge of the facing. Place the front parts right sides together on the back piece. Pin and sew the shoulder and side seams. Neaten the seam allowances and press them flat. Now, let's move on to the collar. Press the lower edge of one collar piece inward. Then, place it right sides together on the other collar piece and pin the outer edges together. Stitch along the front and outer edges, 
Trim the seam allowances and clip the corners diagonally. Turn the collar right side out and press the edges. Pin and sew the collar right sides together on the neckline. The notches should meet the shoulder seams. Press the seam allowances into the collar. Pin the inner edges of the collar above the seam and top stitch it from the outside in the seam groove. Sew the collar tightly once. Then again, next to the seam with contrasting denim thread. Due to the corners, it's best to use the size 100 Schmetz single denim needle and leave it in place every time you turn at the corner. We are also using the stronger needle for all the other top stitching because we need to sew through several layers of fabric. Now, let's move on to the belt. Pin it right sides together on the lower edge of the jacket. The seam allowances extend past the front edges. Stitch the belt tightly. Press the seam allowances and the allowances of the other side of the belt. Fold the belt along the fold line outward and sew the ends of the belt to each other. Turn the belt right side out. Press the edges and pin the inner edge of the belt above the seam. Now sew the belt all around with contrasting thread. Next, let's tackle the sleeves. First, neaten the seam allowances of the back edges of the sleeves. Press the seam allowances under the placket inward and stitch them tightly. Now you can close the upper sleeve seams up to the slit notch. Secure the seam ends with back stitches. Press the seam allowances into the front of the sleeve. Reinsert the Schmetz double denim needle and first sew the front edge of the slit with contrasting thread. Then sew the rest of the back seam of the sleeve from the slit upward and secure the seam ends with back stitches. Fold the sleeves in half, pin, and sew the lower sleeve seam. Neaten the seam allowances and press them flat. For the gathers, sew two parallel lines with the widest stitch width. Pull the gathering threads until it is the size of the wrist width and not the thread ends. Press the seam allowances from the inside of the cuff inward. Pin the other long side of the sleeve right sides together on the lower edge of the sleeve. The sleeve allowances extend past the slit. Pin the sleeve in place. Press the seam allowances into the sleeve. Then fold the sleeve along the fold line to the right side and sew the sleeve ends together. Turn the sleeve right side out. Press the edges and sew the lower edge of the sleeve tightly. Pin the sleeve right sides together into the armhole. Please make sure that the lower sleeve seam and the side seam match up. and that notches 12 on the sleeve and front match up. The notch of the sleeve cap should be on the shoulder seam. Attach the sleeve in the sleeve cap area and sew the sleeve tightly. Neaten the seam allowances together and press them into the sleeve in the sleeve cap area. Now, all that's left are the buttons and buttonholes. The Yuki sewing machine that we have determines the best buttonhole size by inserting the button into the clamp and automatically sewing the buttonholes. Set the sewing machine to a buttonhole stitch. We chose an eyelet buttonhole. Sew the buttonholes at the end of the front cuff and on the right closure flap. Then attach the buttons at the back end of the cuff and at the left end of the closure flap. And that's it! Your denim jacket is finished! We would like to thank our partners Yuki, Schmetz, and Mettler. We hope you enjoyed sewing this model with us. I look forward to seeing you soon for a new Berta tutorial.